A couple of gals make that for me. They're so organic. Where, and where, one's pumpkin and one is uh, capon granite. We're at a store They're here. Five dollars each. Um, if you look at it, it's, it's amazing. It's a store here that has all sorts of records, and it's been here for how long? 100 years. And this is the proprietor here. And can you tell me a little bit about the store? Well, it was started in 1910. We're now 100 years here. My father made it to 102. My mother, 98. I made it six. And this wow. is my sister who painted the ceiling 50 years ago. Oh, let's see if we can get the ceiling in. I lost her with cancer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, me too, four years ago. But we had 80 wonderful years together. Wow, that's amazing. And we take things on consignment for people to help them with money and so they can have their food and their drugs. And when they come in to get their money, they always say, just like running a pet shop, they always say, oh, did the person really love it? Yeah. Are they going to care about it? And I can usually say, yes, the person loved it, and they're going to take care of it. And that makes them so happy because they feel these are nice things that somebody should care about. Yeah, I, I think so, too. I've never seen a shop like this before. Well, there are not many left. In the old days, there were a lot of shops like this, but now the kids aren't carrying on the family businesses anymore. They're going into computers and right. technology. And so these things are disappearing. So how do you... How uh, what, I just think this is such an amazing place. It's fun and all kinds of interesting things. Everything has a history. Yeah, I mean, like these uh, videos over here. Yeah. Well, the gentleman that they belong to uh -huh. worked for Little Brown the Publishing Company. Ah, oh, man, I'd love to work for them. <laughs> and, uh, he was retired and he went blind. Really? So he has a cat named Sebastian that's 13 years old and toothless. <laughs> and he had to go to the nursing home because he couldn't see. So Sebastian needed somebody to take care of him. So he brought his things in. He had a friend bring his things in yeah. to buy the cat food for Sebastian. So if we sell the pieces, the money goes for Sebastian's cat food. And everything <laughs> he has a story like that. It's, it's really fun. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so I write a magazine. It's called Oddball Magazine. And I'd like to do a little story about this. So what's the name of what what's the name of the, the store? Yeah, look around, make yourself at home. So the name of the store is the family name Bartavian. Bartavian. And your name is? I'm Pat Bartavian. Pat Bartavian and we we and this store has been in business for a hundred years. That's right. And I am so glad that I ran into you. I'm so glad you did too, but I don't think it was by accident. <laughs> no, I think these things are meant to be. Oh jeez. Well that's awesome. So anyway, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna close off now by saying that uh, I'm glad that we ran into each other and uh, a lot of future good times together. See you on the magazine, okay? All right. All right.